It's that time again. Everyone from fanboys and girls to industry veterans are counting the hours to Tuesday's iPad event in San Francisco. What will and won't we see? Apple's invitation with its tagline, we still have a lot to cover, dropped one not-so-subtle hint. Apple hasn't really changed the smart cover in two years. It basically came out with the iPad 2. So uh, we're kind of just expecting new colors. They're not really going to go the same distance that Microsoft is, adding things like a battery or a keyboard or a trackpad, things that make it more of a laptop. Just in time for the holidays, the full-size iPad is expected to get a makeover with slimmer sides. As for the iPad mini, Apple could revamp its screen. Maybe a retina display which has more pixels in it, but at the same size. Another possibility is that Apple will carry over a new and popular iPhone feature to the iPad line. The big unknown is whether it will have the same Touch ID technology that lets you sign in and bypass your password with just your fingerprint. Uh, that's something that came out in the iPhone 5S last month and kind of has changed the way you unlock your devices. Last year brought the iPad mini. Could this year bring an iPad maxi? Don't count on it. There have been rumors of a 13-inch size, which would be like what you get with laptops, uh, but I don't think we're going to see that this year. You'll also need to play the waiting game if you're watching out for an iWatch. It's too early to start counting down to 2014. Or is it? In San Francisco, I'm Sumi Das, CNET for CBS News.